Now, I missed the beginning of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard stuff, but I, I ain't no fool. Mama ain't raised no fool. So I'm trying to get all of the information I can because eventually when this feud ends up going hot inside of a courtroom, I'm going to be there to cover it from toes to titties and I guess metaphorical titties in Angelina Jolie's case because hey, they're gone. She chopped them off years ago. Anyways, Angelina Jolie did file anonymous lawsuit as Jane Doe. I kind of called that when I talked about this. Last week or some point, I can't quite remember when that video got released. But again, it's like, yeah, no, that's obvious. She obviously meddled when she filed that lawsuit, okay? And then taking a look at the timeline on this, I'm starting to wonder, okay, how close are the communication lines between Amber Heard and Angelina Jolie were there? Because this seems like um, quite a quinky of a goddamn dink. Either that or it's just parallel thinking of complete total narcissists. So yes, she filed the anonymous lawsuit as Jane Doe asking why the FBI didn't arrest Brad Pitt after her uh, allegations of assault. Oh, he beat me and you guys didn't do anything about it. Well, there's no proof, miss. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> sounds familiar. Angelina Jolie has been identified as the Jane Doe who sued the FBI after an investigation into her ex-husband, Brad Pitt, was closed. It's like, yeah, he didn't do anything. He just wants to see his kids and you're kind of being a cunt. Uh, it was closed following 2016 allegations of physical and verbal assault emotional damage after initial speculation about the unnamed plaintiff in the suit it has now been confirmed that the maleficent incarnate 47 oof uh, was the one who filed in april according to puck news eric gardner spell your name right weirdo uh, the suit asked for the Bureau to hand over documents related to the investigation into the actor, 58, who looks a lot better than her. I guess, you know, evil weighs a lot on the human spirit. After Jolie claimed that he was physically and verbally assaulted her and their children while flying on a private plane. This sounds like it's just copy-pasted. One of Amber Heard's claims was, J -j Johnny got drunk and uh, he, he kicked me in the back and nobody would do anything. Sounds like a fucking plot to a soap opera. Christ on ice. FBI cleared Pitt of any wrongdoing in the incident. Oh, see, because the FBI is corrupt. See, they can do one thing good and they don't have to do other things good. Okay, it's, again, there's a lot of people that work for the FBI. Some of them are good, some of them are not. Uh, which happened during a private jet flight falling under the jurisdiction of the federal government. Yeah, interstate travel and all that. Days after, Jolie filed for divorce from Pitt and asked for full custody of their kids vindictive bitch. Details in the suit reveal that Brad reportedly put his hands on Angelina and poured beer on her during the flight. Literally, okay, this was during 2016. Everybody at that point had a fucking phone on them. Okay, I feel like a Blizzard developer at this point. Don't you guys have phones? You would have taken pictures of that shit had it happened, especially if you're just leading up to this contentious divorce. You would have had somebody come forward on this, whether it be the stewardess, whether it be one of your kids seeing this stuff, okay, because they're all of a certain age at this point. Like, stop it. Stop it. You're just hurting yourself. Pitt was said to be drinking and had taken Jolie to the back of the plane, Oh, grabbed her shoulders and shook her while yelling, you're fucking up this family. That I believe. I don't think that he actually, you know, needed to get drunk in order to make that salient point. Puck published a story on Tuesday revealing that Jolie clum er, complained about the lack of transparency regarding why the investigation was closed. And it's like, there's no evidence here. What the fuck are we supposed to do? Stop it. You're supposed to rule in my favor. Nobody has ever told me anything that I didn't want to hear in my entire life. This is the entitlement of a beautiful woman. I made it clear in the first video that I never found her attractive. She was just always too masculine for my tastes. She had nice tits and I, I hate the whole fucking plumped look or plump lip thing unless dinner's cold but no she's the archetype of the woman that we've been seeing for the past 10 years at this point and then just throwing that pre-diabetic hourglass figure and from personality to aesthetics that's basically what we have in today's day and age and now that she's been rightly criticized for her terrible fucking decisions and the amount of psychological torture that she's inflicted i can't wait until more of this fucking backstory gets told because there's been ideas floated about there that brad pitt might be pursuing her legally i can't fucking wait for that i can't wait for that publication also revealed that jolie amended the complaint on august 9th 
of this year? That's interesting. Apparently, before the FBI announced that they could not be charging Pitt with assault, the or the agent investigating the incident prepared a statement of probable cause and presented it to the chief of the criminal division of the U.S. Attorney's Office in Los Angeles, but a decision not to pursue charges was made. During the same flight, another physical altercation was alleged to have happened. When Jolie, did she amend this in here? Is she absolutely following the Amber Heard? Oh, I, I just recently remembered something because I just overheard somebody else tell a story and I just decided it was good enough to co-opt and just add into my story itself. Is she, is she making up new claims on the fly? Because that would be fun. Uh, reportedly sustained injuries and gave an agent a photo of her elbow. Oh my god, didn't attempt to corroborate this. Is this like an Amber Heard on the stand where she's like, Oh my god, uh, Johnny beat me mercilessly and here's a photo of a bruise on my arm. I'm like, fuck off. Oh, yeah, physical altercation. I have a bruise on my elbow. It, it also has teeth marks, and I can't quite. Uh, I don't know, man. Brad had like a fat lip afterwards, but I uh, can you believe he tried to bite my elbow? Unbelievable. This guy, he's a madman. He's crazy. This was also the same flight where Brad allegedly put his hands on the couple's oldest son, Maddox, fi then 15, now 21. What does he have to say about any of this? with Angelina claiming that he struck him, something the actor has denied. What are we talking, a swat on the ass or a stiff fucking, you know, cr a right cross? Like, what are we doing here? But it's probably whatever it needs to be because she's making all this shit up. Sources close to the Moneyball actor. Oh, fuck. I've actually seen that movie. So I'll amend what I said before in the previous video because I said I haven't, I don't think I've seen any Brad Pitt movies. Like, I haven't seen Fight Club. I haven't seen, oh, right. Yeah, he's in some of those Oceans films. So, yeah, no, I'm not a fan by any means, okay? And I don't like the Angelina Jolie movies. I think that she's very one dimensional. I have laid that out beforehand, okay? So I have no vested interest in either party. I just see a dude getting put through the system by an opportunistic woman. And I want to call it out because n nobody else is going to. Uh, source, yeah, sources close to the Moneyball actor believe Jolie only filed the lawsuit in order to bring press attention to the allegations against Brad, claiming uh, that she already had the request uh, requested information for years. She's had it for years. The insider said the pit was cleared because there was not a shred of evidence to support Angelina's claims. Wow, where have we heard that before? Jolie and Pitt, whose marriage collapsed in 2016. Yeah, when her career did as well, and uh, realizing that, oh fuck, maybe Brad Pitt, still at that time, Brad Pitt, could get any bitch that he wanted, and uh, maybe she was feeling a little bit too insecure about herself, uh, just trying to secure the bag long term. Just thinking, just thinking out loud. Okay, want to get full custody, okay, still get child support on, what, the two twins, uh, and then a couple of daughters as well, yeah. At the time of the filing, high-profile attorney Amanda Kramer, ugh, uh, who is representing the plaintiff, told Politico her client filed a suit anonymously to preserve the family's privacy. No, 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 abso fucking lutely not, don't give me that shit. That was the stir shit up, because she knew that there was no evidence, okay? And it didn't get anywhere near the attention that she was hoping for, so wondering, putting it back out there. Well, why don't more people know about this? You fucking know why, bitch. You know exactly why. You have a picture of your bruised elbow, but you don't have a picture of you being drenched in beer. Like, come on, and why would he be drinking beer on a private flight, okay? He's with a fucking plebe? I don't think so. Filing alleges the woman's children have experienced lasting physical and mental trauma. Yeah, living with her. After being verbally and physically assaulted by her then-husband while flying on a private plane. Oh my god. Yes, they experience mental and physical trauma because they can't fly coach ever again. Oh, it's too tragic. It also alleges Jane Doe had fired new, filed numerous requests for a copy of the department's investigative files in hopes to uh, better set up her next hoax. Oh, I'm sorry. Better understand the FBI's investigation and obtaining information necessary for her children to receive medical care and trauma counseling. Interesting. Wouldn't you know that off rip if you were the one who originally filed it? Like, can you make this more obvious? <laughs> That's wild. Okay. Like, she wants to know how the FBI conducted their investigation so that she could better fake another one in the future. Stop it. Stop it. You're just hurting yourself. Powerhouse stars met on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Never seen it, but yes, exactly. 
tied the knot. They were together dating on and off, blah, 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 all that fucking nonsense. So yeah, she's a liar now. So again, oh my God, this is something that men in contentious relationships have to deal with all the fucking time. Some bitch who's just on a whim deciding that I don't want to be married to you anymore. And I want all, and I want the kids and I want to freeze you out of their life because I feel like, okay, I'm not married. I don't have any kids. I don't have a horse in this race. Just me making fun of horses because, you know, have you seen her face? But I see some injustice going on in the world. And just for the fact that this is like probably the most high profile A-list couple that has been around for, I guess you could probably argue Kim and Kanye to a certain extent. And that entire situation is a whole fucking bundle of sticks in and of itself. This one could go to the courts and while we've seen domestic violence finally get the spotlight on male victims in the Depp herd trial, we can see the dirty work of divorce proceedings and how women weaponize children against the father and finally put that there on Front Street. We'll see where it goes from here. I'm like I said, uh, I'm in even if this doesn't go all the way to the top because mm, it's a pretty important topic, at least in my opinion. I don't know if anybody else thinks of it. And the last video didn't do shit for views, but I'm here for the long haul. With all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.